Oh, hey. What are you doing? I don't have a Spider-Man mask. Um, so why are you... Have you got a bag on your head? Well, this one time in the Baxter building, when the Fantastic Four separated Spider-Man from the symbiote, Spider-Man obviously wanted to protect his secret identity, so he wore a grocery bag on his head. That was in America, wasn't it, Lee? Yeah. You know in America these paper bags? Yes. Yes, I do. At least he's not in handcuffs and all lubed up this time. It's a bonus. Hi guys, welcome to another video from Overbite Gaming. I am the Majestic Snare and that bald bloke is Lee. It grants wishes. It doesn't, I've tried it. Um, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're going to be talking about a game on the PS4 called Spider-Man. You have to say it properly. You have to say it properly. Spider-Man. Spider-Man! <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long review. Yeah. Um, which you can probably tell by the length of the video down below. Never mind. Probably not captured that much footage for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Spider-Man on the PS4 is probably the Spider-Man game we have all been waiting for. And I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. Yes, I would say so. <laughs> Thanks for agreeing. Uh, I agree to the Do first you concur? part. Not the, not the latter part. Um, yes, this game has been out for a couple of weeks at the time of filming this review. Um, I have had such a good time in this game, and I'll just put it out there. I love it. Bye then. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Um, it's a great game. I'm I'm not quite as hard on it as Snare is, um, because it wouldn't fit up my nostril. But um, yeah, but you can cut it up into blue powder. <laughs> um, it just shreds your nasal line. <laughs> it does, yeah. <laughs> but I, I have to say that they've done a fantastic job here. Um, the the feeling of being Spider-Man is really, really important in any Spider-Man game, as you might expect. But for me, the, the big selling point was the first time I took a swing uh, through into the game, swinging down, you know, by the by the cars and stuff on on the New York streets, and then like attaching myself to the, the side of buildings and stuff. To me, that web slinging was exactly what I expected and exactly what I wanted in a Spider-Man game. Yeah, I think we can safely say that Spider-Man 2 can uh, come in. Its time is done. You've, you've had a good run, Spider-Man 2. Oh, very good run. PS2 game, Jesus. I've yeah. been able to top it. <laughs> and then no one's been able to beat you. But now I'm afraid there is a new champion in town. And it is Spider-Man. The classic sequel that's not a sequel. And also it's quite confusing <laughs> if, if you're uh, ordering games online and don't see pictures of them. Mm. Because, yes, there's been a few games called Spider-Man. In fact, this is the third that I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah. So, um, I have to say, um, a lot of things about this game made me very, very happy. Uh, the you not can... MJ's face. No, no, mm. bit weird. Um, I don't think she's finished. <laughs> she doesn't. Doesn't. She was look... removed from the wound too early, and her face didn't form. It's like that clone guy from the Sixth Day. <laughs> like when he doesn't realise he's half done. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's unfair. She's not quite a half done clone. She just doesn't look as good as the other models. Yep. Um, but I, I definitely think that the story in this game, um, there, there wasn't a, a, a classic good and bad villain piece going on. Um, there was lots of villains and there was Spider Man. But there was no kind of one singular entity that was going to be running through the whole game. You're constantly fighting and trying to get close to the defeat. It kept on moving around, so I think the the narrative was a changeable one. Yeah, but well done. It certainly was. I mean, there is sort of an event in the game that sort of just unleashes like some of Spider Man's sort of most prominent em enemies <clears throat> back into the city. So you end up sort of like sort of doing damage control for a few missions. That's like Scorpion that. and Rhino, Electro, yeah, Vulture, Vulture. Um, there's Doctor Octopus in it, um, which is an interesting kind of. Because as soon as you meet the guy, you know exactly that it's who it is and what he's going to be doing. And the way they bring that out within the game I thought was really, really cool. I'm not sure if it's ever been a comic book storyline like that, whether he's actually been that close. Yeah, in the comic books, Doctor Doctor has actually been Spider-Man. Yeah, there you go. But he, um, he definitely had a, a good feeling um, of, a, of an interaction, kind of like a Peter Parker having a, a father figure type person in, in his life. Um, 
in Doctor Octopus, which was a bit weird because it made the the payoff a bit stronger, I think, at the end. I don't know. It was, when you're it was finally fighting bit, Doctor Octopus, it was a bit Spider-Man Two, where he sort of meets Doctor Octopus and yeah, a little bit. click, and then he goes all mental because he has a brain chip thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not ruining story-wise for you. I mean, Doctor Octopus was going to be a villain. As soon as you meet him, you know he's going to be a villain. In, in it the game. was just a question of when and how. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, the the game scores points on so many levels. Um, before we go into a bit more mechanical stuff, that the storyline is good and the story writing is good. The voice acting is clear and good and of high quality. I think the, the artwork on some of the faces is fantastic. The attention to detail in the graphics around the city is fantastic. Um, and even just little tiny things like um, when you fast travel. Yes. Uh, which you, you reminded me of. Um, not that you look like Spider-Man. Not that. Do I? But when you when you when you're fast travelling, it cuts to a little cutscene of Spider-Man on the subway, and then halfway through the game, when you become a bit more hunted by the city, uh, you're not inside the carriage; you're on the outside, like <laughs> clamped onto the like, side or like checking your phone. <laughs> Check out my Instagram, bitches. Hashtag Spider-Man. And there's even a, a feed, a fake Twitter feed in the game that yeah. you can view when you're doing certain events. Um, or you save people or whatever, and there'll be a list of people going, oh, I just saw Spider-Man, and it's yeah, just that, really nice. Yeah, that's at uh, Carryover from the Amazing Spider-Man games. Mm. They had that as well. Yeah. And I did. That. you can actually pull quite a lot of parallels between this game and the last uh, couple of Amazing Spider-Man games. Well, there's, there's a lot of stylistic choices that are, have been carried over. Yeah, and like the random crimes and stuff, but that's been a well, thing in Spider-Man games for a long time before that as well. Yeah, there, there's random crimes that happen. You get like a police alert and you go and save the day. Uh, but that, that kind of thing is there. But also vent crawling, some of the kind of, not not the, the, um, the combat yeah, mechanics. So you should the, go inside a vent and you have Spider-Man's butt in your face. You're like, yeah, this is familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're all familiar with Spider-Man's butt. Yeah. There's, um, but the, what they have done new and what I, the, the choices they made were fantastic. So through the game, you unlock suits, okay, it's different Spider-Man suits, which for me, it was almost like the main part of the game for me was I wanted to unlock those suits. Yes, so did I. And you get a number of different kinds, a couple of originals for the actual game from Insomniac, but also you get some classic ones like the, well, not classic, but Stark suit from the uh, Infinity War you know, Marvel, current Marvel Universe. Well, it's a Stark suit from Homecoming. Homecoming. It's the but it's... Iron Spider suit from Infinity War. Oh, oh sorry, yes. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. But you get something from the actual Marvel Universe. someone's putting fucking attention around here. <laughs> but I, you know, I really used that Stark suit most of the time it and a, the Iron it, Spider. It is a good looking suit because it has enough of a, a classic look. Yeah. But it's also been modernised at the same time. It's a good mix of the yeah. two. You can also get a cell shaded vintage Spider Man look, which I thought was really cool. Quite jarring to start with, yeah. um, because it's completely different. But then after a while, you kind of like this looks cool. I've got I've got the plastic, classic Spider Man swinging around, and and what's it missing? Symbiote suit. There is not a symbiote suit in the game. Every time I'd unlock a suit, I'd be, is it a symbiote suit? No, it's not the symbiote suit. There, there is not a symbiote suit in the game. I am most disappointed. It's the first. Spider-Man game, I can remember where you have changeable costumes, that the symbiote suit wasn't included. So I'm thinking there might be a three-letter thing for this. Poo. I was thinking DLC. But, uh, but same it, thing. Poo would work as well. But I have to say, on the D- DLC point, I I will be buying some DLC for this. Oh, I will be as well, definitely. Um, Depending on what it is, I'm not just going to give them well, anything. I think, I think the first one's a Black Cat-centric one. Okay. And any reason to see black cat's butt in that tight black slinky thing <laughs> here we go but i i honestly say i've i've played the game through and completed everything there's to do in the game apart from like the top levels of challenges and stuff which we're getting to but i've i've got the feeling now i want to play more spider-man but there's nothing really to to play that's new in the game that i've already done yeah there's no new game plus either which no. so to have dlc you know i would be up for that i think yeah definitely um Plus, it gives them a good avenue to bring in stuff that is glaring, glaringly just not there. Mm. I mean, they've completely sidelined the symbiote stuff. I mean, I can't imagine why. That's like the most popular part of Spider-Man, really, is the symbiote stuff. It's more familiar, yeah. But, I mean, is it because there's a Venom movie coming out by Fox? Maybe. Maybe they couldn't use the, the, it. The, the ties to Marvel at the moment 
um, in terms of like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It is literally like a spider's web. <laughs> it is, but there's there's definite links. One of the lovely touches I found um, playing this game is when you start swinging and then Marvel Avenger-esque music starts coming in and it, you just feel like, fuck it, I'm Spider-Man. There's, there's no question now, I'm fucking Spider-Man. This is amazing. He's fucking Spider-Man. heard it here first. <laughs> well, it's in those vents when you can see his ass. Um, but it's, it's such a good feeling to be swinging through the streets of New York City, land anywhere in that city, and something's happening. There are people that make the, the city feel alive, that you're Spider-Man, and then someone says, hey, over here, and you turn around, they want to high-five you. I mean, little touches in this yeah, game. You just, fantastic. You just land and everybody sort of stops and goes, Spider-Man, the little crowd grabbers, and then you get like a little prompt come up. Hey, I saw head. you last week saving my uncle. <laughs> you know. And it's just so many little bits that I think they've spent... So, this game just screams that they've had attention to detail and passion about the core material. Mm, absolutely. Um, the mechanics of the suits, so we we'll get back to that. So when you actually unlock a suit, you get a suit power as well so in your basic combat you're going to have your kind of one button melee punching very arkham style mm, arkham yeah, it, asylum style well, we'll style. come on to the combat after we've talked about the suits because we've got a bit to say about the combat okay all right, all right. Yes, let's, let's keep it nice and segregated <laughs> so with the suits you get a power associated with the suit that you've unlocked so for example you might have one called web blossom which um i think is with the main it's a giant story spooge suit. explosion it is you mm. spooge everywhere and you stick people to walls if they're nearby um, but it will web up people that are in the vicinity. Or you could end up having um, spider arms coming out of your back. Yeah, and from like a, the iron spider suit. Or you can have spider bro helping you out. From the homecoming suit, or the Stark suit, uh, which is the one I use most because it's very helpful. And the it is very helpful. comes off his chest and but, goes around and just electrocutes everybody. And you're just like, hey. It does help a lot. <laughs> but the lovely thing is that those powers are not tied to you wearing that suit. So you can mix and match. So you can play how you want to look. And how you want to have that, that particular ability in combat? Yeah, some of the some of the costumes are a bit questionable in their appearance. I thought there's like some where I'm like, some yeah, don't, don't look quite right. Don't like the look of that. Yeah, there's, there's like uh, some of the um, I think the 2099 suits. Yeah, they, well, they've got like the, they both the 2099 suits look alright. I mean, you've got like I don't like the the creation, the fins yeah. on them, and then they've sort strange. of got an original white version of it, mm. and that looks okay too. I mean, it's not what I'm used to. I mean, I'm familiar with 2099, but um, yeah, it looks all right. But I mean, you had stuff like Spider Punk. Mm. And it's just like, mm. yeah. And negative suit, you know, it's just horrible. I didn't like that at all. Didn't really look very Spider Man y. But I have to say, the attention with the amount of suits, I think there's something like 20 different suits or so. It's, it's a fair few, yeah. Maybe even like closer to 30, I'm not sure. But there's a, there's a lot of suits to go through, um, and even unlocking everything you can play in your pants Yeah. with a Spider-Man mask on, which is quite funny. So Snare likes that one. Well, it's an interesting power. It's a oh, one, yes. one hit kill, one hit die, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's for hardcore players, hardcore Spider-Man fans. be all right if it was just like your web shoot. You'd be like, I say hardcore Spider-Man fans, and I'm wearing a Superman t-shirt. So. Yes. <laughs> I, do you know how hard it is to find a decent Spider-Man t-shirt? I was looking at it the other day. It's not like really obvious and huge on the front. Who wants a Spider-Man t-shirt or a Venom t-shirt with a white spider going around? Yeah, that's Which is like, in the new movie. Like this is this is enough size on a t-shirt. I don't want like the spider one comes up here and comes down there. It's too big. Anyway, we're diverging. Some of us have manly chests. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how the suits kind of fare. Um, you obviously have your gadgets um, that you can use in sort of combat as a a variation on your web shooters, really. Yeah, you get like web <laughs> mines, like in Homecoming, where he glues that guy to the side of a car mm -hmm. on the ferry. Um, well, you got uh, electrified webbing. Yep, you got web bombs. Uh, you got uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it keeps the enemies in the air. Um, it's very interesting, but I you don't really use all of them. <laughs> no, I you, didn't. You I'm, find the ones you like and then stick them. Outside of the points where it's like, oh yeah, this is this, use this now. Um, I just went back to the regular web shooters because once they're upgraded, it recharges so fast and they're so useful. I'm just like, yeah, these are fun. Yeah, the skill trees are, mm. are fairly easy going. They are extra moves. Um, kind of split into three aspects as well. You've got like traversal, combat, and gadgets. Mm -hmm. So. Um, with the traversal stuff, unlock that as soon as possible and make your experience much better. Oh, I would say the combat. I mean, like you get uh, in a big way, hold down triangle and you yank people. 
Um, and you start off not basically being able to do it anywhere but in the air, I think. Mm-hmm. And then you do it, you get an upgrade, so you do it when you've webbed someone up, you can like grab them and swim the walls and they insta stick to walls. Disarming weapons. Disarming weapons and throwing the weapons back yeah, That's at them. really handy. Yeah, so it's like stuff like this where you got to go with a shield, you're just like... But I'll say one thing, that in the early game, um, the need for that is probably much less. Yeah, they don't... They don't it really, ramps up nicely. Yeah, they, they introduce new enemy types and sort of introducing the ways of you know, like the guys with sticks, with electrified sticks, you'll punch up in the air and take them out in the air. Uh, the guys with shields, you just hit and then dodge and you just slide between the legs and kick them from behind. So they all have the established one. Like the big guys, you just move out of the way, web up. But like that's where the web. I and mean, once you've done that, and the bit you allows you to like web yank him, throw him around, and it's to stick him to a wall, so he's much less of a problem. Uh, as soon as you sort of get to the point where you can just throw them in the walls and they just stay there. And that basically takes them out instantly. The feels so comes, good. It feels so good and the combat comes a lot easier. Like um, you get the ability to catch missiles and send them back. They don't explode, unfortunately. They just sort of go donk. And the, and the mines they throw out as well. Yeah. Like, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> more grenades, I think. It's um, Which is annoying because I don't like the flashbang effect. I did. I yeah, think, did, think um, it was a great way to affect you as a player and not just the character. Yeah, it, um, it, 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 it spent so much time in making you immersed in feeling like you're Spider Man that to have you jarring out and sort of go, oh, your buttons don't work no more. It's, that'll pull you away from it, I think. Well, it's not just that. I mean, like in previous games that have used flashbangs, we've seen you get an image of the screen when the flashbang went off, sort of overlaid over what's happening, and that gradually fades. And I mm. kind of like the way of doing that better. Yeah, in but, this, though, yeah, it's but you're much used to more, that. Yeah, well. It's supposed to be disorienting. I'm disorientated most of the time. Yeah, so you just can't cope. <laughs> I can cope. So just, are we going on to that combat trip. angle now? Let's we, do the combat Are we allowed angle. to talk about combat now? We, I will allow this. Good, 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 good. Yeah, three minutes. Well, you wanted to fucking talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you want to bring up about combat? Because I thought it was pretty balanced and pretty good. I think it's pretty balanced. It's, it's, it is Arkham style, like you mentioned, yep. but it is different. You can't just yep. sit in one place and just counter everything. You need to be on the move. You need to be up in the air as much as possible. Um, Which, again, is what you expect from a Spider-Man. Yes, and he can't take as much damage as Batman either. No. Um, so you need to be out of there. I mean, he- Yeah, sometimes I actually found myself completely and utterly um, devoid of health before I'd even realised. Yeah, and if you're in a big group of guys, you need to get out of there quick, otherwise they're just going to muller you. Yep. They're just going to pound your stupid fighter, spider face yeah. in. The, the nice thing about the combat is that it wasn't just like, you have to remember a million combos, because that's how I felt when I first looked at the skill tree and like all these things you can do. But yeah. what, what happens in the combat, you actually have a, a balanced amount of dodging, attacking, and, and moving. Well, I mean, a lot of the upgrades are complementary to things you're already doing. So mm. like... Um, you're already dodging, so the perfect dodge one is just if you time it just right, you'll just spooge in their face, mm. and they'll be like this for a few seconds, and give you some breathing room. Um, you get the you, you throw things with the two uh, left one and right one together. That's the same for doing the rockets. So it just it ties in the stuff you're already yeah. doing, so it doesn't overcomplicate it. Yeah, it, there's it's for me. I don't think there's actually many things I can criticize in this game. Um, I I, I don't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can because for me I mean I had a story that kept me going I had combat that was challenging enough um, even at an easy level yeah it, it, it wasn't, wasn't that much easier at an easy level no I I mean it's still you know I think we're talking bullet sponge amounts that's yeah, what it does I think that's probably what, what the case is I mean I play on easy as well but yeah I mean I died I mean there Many are a few times. <laughs> not that but uh, there are a few bits and pieces which I would like to see have been slightly different or changed. I mean, you get to the point where, okay, there's a missile coming at me, but I'm in the middle of kicking someone in the face, so I can't avoid it. I would like to be able to like press the dodge button and sort of break out of that animation. No, I don't think you want to be having to be god powers here, Lee. No, but it's like, I can see the missile coming, I've got time to evade it, but I can't because Spider-Man's jumping about the place. I think, as Spider-Man, you know, because I am Spider-Man now, um... I would like to think that I'd have to scope out the situation and attack the people that are firing rockets at me first. Ah, but here's the rub. It's like you have uh, missions where you need to defeat waves of enemies, like base missions, right? And you can approach it from a stealthy standpoint. So you go around and you're like, like a spider, you're like, flip! As you'd expect, there's lots weather, of stealthy bits you can do. them up and like leave them hanging off light posts and things. And then as soon as that second wave hits, 
they know exactly where you are and will attack you. Yeah. Even if you've taken out the entire first wave stealthily like. I think it's maybe because they phoned in and then no one responded so they knew Spider-Man was there. Yeah, but they knew exactly what lamppost I was sat on. Because they're looking up now. <laughs> <laughs> but it just, it just felt like, well, why do I bother doing the first part as a stealth thing unless there's a challenge for part of the base to do that? I mean, I would rather be like, okay, I'm just going to flip around and just stuff to take everybody out. Mm. Rather than, or I could just come well, in and beat everybody up, depending on what I wanted to play. I don't like being forced to like having to switch over to combat because the second wave instantly knows where you are for some reason. And also, I found once in those situations where they've gone, they've been alerted. There's no way back from it. Like you can't, yeah, you can't can't really get stealthy again unless you're in a big open area that you can run away and come back again. Well, you literally need to run away and sort of leave. The... Well, in the in the in the particular the demons bases, which are the second level enemies, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, second level enemies. So, because there's four levels basically, we'll get into that in a sec. But if you get into the uh, the second level bases, you're actually inside somewhere, so you can't run away and come back and be stealthy. Yeah, it's it's not like you can break their eye line and then they mm. search for you and then they go back on patrol. Or whatever. If you like, can do that, Batman I didn't manage it. No, you can't. The instant you know where you are, no matter where you are, they will come over and attack you. They'll run from like halfway across the map to get to you. But the combat systems, you can kind of jump and. Sp like web to a different enemy that's quite some way away. Yeah, um, that's been in previous games as well. Yeah, yep. but it works. It's it, it it works with the other abilities so well that you don't feel like you're stranded because as a just a running around model in the game, Spider Man isn't very quick. No, I mean you can like uh, hold down right to. You like, can run, but it's it's still quite a slow way to get to an enemy that's all the way over there. So. The ability to jump around enemies quickly and maybe get out of trouble by zipping to a, a lone enemy on the outside in the periphery. Brilliant. Um, combat, I would give that close to a 10 out of 10. Mm, yeah. I would. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, it felt engaging. The quips were coming as you're fighting enemies. Differently. It felt different every time. Um, I don't remember too many repeats. Um, maybe on some of the um, fixed events. Uh, but just phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Um, with combat, I really loved it. Yeah, I I enjoy combat. It never stops being fun. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Um, but I felt the fact that all of these guys that came at you all had one set way of dealing with them. Mm -hmm. I kind of felt like that was a bit of a mistake because it was just it. It's a guy with an electrified stick. I'm just punching him up in the air and beat him up. Oh, it's a it's a guy that's got a rifle. I'm going to dodge his bullets and web zip to him and beat him up. Oh, it's a, you know, it's a guy with a shield. I'm going to zip behind him and kick him from behind. It's dealing with that same in over and over again, and also the fact that you couldn't break the animations to actually dodge out of the way of stuff at times. Um, I felt it's certainly not a ten out of ten. I would say maybe maybe an eight for the combat for me. It's great, but it's not perfect. So um, as the game sort of progresses, uh, all of these things meld together into a lovely ball of loveliness. Um, becoming an amazing game um, and I think towards the end of the game you really feel like you own that city like you, you are the protector of New York City yeah I would say that's fair you don't it's not you don't feel disassociated and a lot of games you're like okay what have we got to do next no but with Spider-Man I actually had a feeling that because the city was alive and there were people around it that if I was going to do a, a, a crime activity and save somebody that you know one of the one of the missions for example is to like chase down a car and stop the car. There's a whole you know mini quick time event game of jumping onto the car, dodging out of the way of bullets, which I think again was in the Amazing Spider-Man yes, stuff. Was, yeah. But you have this kind of moment, and then depending on how how many cars are involved or what level the enemies are, then you have to have a fight afterwards. Then you get the kind of waves of enemies coming at you. Not necessarily waves, but a huge glob yeah. of them. And once you finish, you're like. Oh, Good, because that's actually a challenging thing to do in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but then on the flip side, you have the other ones like car accidents, where you just went in and lifted something up and then pulled a door off. And then they tell you who did it, and then you go and find them. Really? I never had that. I, just, yeah. I was like, oh! Yeah, so it was like, oh, they just smashed into my car and sped off down there. So you get like a spider tracker thing. I think you had some ones that did that and some ones that didn't. Yeah. So like the one that was just like, again, right, bye then, they, civilians. They spent a long time looking at that difficulty curve of stuff that goes starts off down here to get you familiar and then starts adding in the difficulty of mm. extra bits and layers on those missions it was just well designed i mean the game is polished to fuck it really is yeah i mean there are 
stealth missions. Yeah, but I didn't get really angry at them. No, I got I got angry a couple of times at them. The, the thing we both agree on was the, the kind of slap in the face of you're not Spider-Man anymore. Yeah. Because you're playing as MJ and Miles in kind of other mission bits where you're sneaking around and not trying because you, you haven't got your powers you can't get into a contact fight with someone well Miles has a super duper watch thing and, uh, beep, and beep, MJ beep. gets a stun gun yeah she gets those lures as well oh she yeah. gets the lures yes uh, which which are handy but um, I, you know I, I paid money to be Spider-Man and then you've built me up to be Spider-Man and now I've got to act like MJ it just yeah it was always didn't like feel right. it was always like let's see the next part of the story oh no they, they feel like <laughs> like story driven filler like they're not yeah, they're, quite filler. They're but. not quite filler. I mean, the stealth isn't too annoying because it's checkpointed really well. Yeah. So even if you get like two thirds of the way through it and then fuck up, it doesn't take you back to the beginning. It will checkpoint you off quite nicely. And saying that, there is um, sort of one of these sort of downtime missions, which I thought was really well done. That was a Halloween party. Yeah. Mm. That that was just very cool. Um, where you're going to. I think find... that's an important thing to look for in in video games, actually. Because, you know, the high octane, like, full-on stuff you do most of the time, there's not many games that understand you need that kind of lull. Yeah. And and that Halloween party part is exactly that. You have a lull of just, just take it in. You're yeah, fucking and, Spider-Man. And that drunk guy that thought he was a rhino, that was cool. Yeah, it's like <laughs> such a nice little take. Because I thought that was the only time we'd probably see Rhino. Mm, and it was like a way to bring the character in. I thought it was really clever. Well, it was the only time we saw the lizard. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Um, but it was like interesting and, and kind of cute seeing Kitch, wasn't it? Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, so, it's fun. Anyway. Now I'm reminiscing the Halloween party bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, do you remember that party we went to? It was like, no, that, that was Spider Man, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was very, very cool. I think um, I, I have to say, it's one of those games, for the first time in a long time, I felt a bit sad that there was no more of it. Yeah, there's a point where you defeat who's been built up that sort of is a big villain about two thirds of the way into the game. And you're like, oh shit, have I finished this. And then it just carries on. You're like, mm. no, I haven't. Brilliant. And it gives you the warning this is the, like, the last mission. Like, yeah, make sure bit. you've got your shit together, even though you can go back and do the other shit after the last mission. I think it's just reminding you that's the case. So you don't want to stop halfway through the last big mission that might take you an hour or something. Right, it's like you can't go back. So if you haven't done all your upgrades, then top tea. Yeah, that's it. You're fucked. Uh, but they look after you in terms of that. Um, I have got nothing but good things to say about this game. I said that fifty times already. I <laughs> I would recommend if you have a PS4, get your hands on it. If you like anything comic book related or Spider Man, um, if you like action games in any form, you will love this and probably have it already. Um, I don't think there's another word we can really say um, to make you buy it. It's great, honestly. It's the best Spider-Man game. I'm not as hard on it as Nero is, but there are things that I'm I don't like about it, like the lack of the symbiote suit, some of the the foibles of combat, um, the fact that you've got stealth sections which just rip you out of the Spider-Man experience. Mm. So I I I was going to score out of ten. It would be an eight, which is still high for you. It's still high. Yeah, it's I a mean, great game. You, you, Definitely you grade badly for games. <laughs> yeah, it's normally like seven. Just so seven. Seven means it's amazing. No, seven, seven. It's a game at seven. I was going to ask you what your score was, but I mean, to me, those points you mentioned are very much the uh, very small elements over an amazingly well-crafted piece of art, and it is a fucking piece of art. It's a beautiful game. Um, I do understand and accept those points, so it's definitely not going to be a ten, but I have to go nine. It's to me. It's exactly what you wanted and what you got was the same thing. Um, for me, that game wasn't going to be an overarching fucking open world, three million hours worth of content game. You know, it's a finite piece. It's almost like sitting down and watching a film that has a start, middle and an end. Yes, it's a little bit kind of evolving through the game itself in terms of villains. And for me, some of the pacing with Dr. Octopus feels a bit off. Um, it could be a little bit more kind of balanced and a bit more paced uh, or paced better. Yeah, but it's not an Anakin sort of... Well, and as I said to you, it kind of feels a bit kind of there's a bit missing or there's somehow jumps from one end to the other. Um, yeah, he's not killing children. No. That's, that's the other difference. That younglings, please. Younglings. <laughs> uh, so for me, a 9 out of 10 kind of gives you my love for the game and my recommendation for the game. 
but it's definitely not a perfect game. We're waiting to see Red Dead Redemption 2 for that. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our review of Spider-Man. We might have waffled on too much, but don't forget that we have videos out every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And if you like what you've seen here, please comment below, click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. It's very important because then YouTube won't tell you what our videos are coming out unless it feels like it. In which case, ring the bell as well. Nice. But Lee, before I do shut down this, this video, not the microphone, but is there anything else you'd like to say about the game? Symbiote soup, please, immediately. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. Um, that might be in the next one. Might be a DLC for Might be the whole thing about the next like one. Like a symbiote storyline DLC. I'll be up for that. I'll be up for that. It's like every other game where I've unlocked Spider-Man suits, so I just get to the symbiote suit, and I'm like, yeah, I don't give a shit about any other. So let me just point out one thing. They, they know how to make a good Spider-Man game, and they chose not to have the symbiote suit in yeah, it. Yeah, I can't. So what does that tell you, Lee? That it's very likely to be a fucking DLC, isn't it? Or they can't get it because of Venom. Maybe. Well, hey guys, thanks for watching. We're going to be continuing to talk about this for another few hours after <laughs> this, probably. Um, but thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. So uh, take care of yourselves. Thwip. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>